Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and thank you for joining Slick with Anal August. So as someone who enjoys pleasures and trying many things, um, anal seems to be one that I cannot cross off my list. Me and my partner have tried several times, but I've always, uh, no thank you, take it out. So I do enjoy finger play, but I want to be able to fully be comfortable to try anal and actually go through the full experience of that pleasure. So I gathered some questions and when's a more perfect opportunity than to ask during anal August? Do you have to know somebody before you have anal? I don't think you need to know the person that you're having anal sex with. I mean, I don't know a lot of the people I've had anal sex with. Couldn't tell you their names, barely remember them. Oh, that's saying a lot about me. I'm a very sex positive person, so I totally believe in going out there and sowing your oats. And I believe that if you trust yourself to make the right decisions and that there's consent and communication, then why not? What is your experience with anal? So I accidentally tried it and it was <laughs> Literally, I had an experience uh, maybe like in high school. I ended up like having sex with this dude in a car. He made me squirt, okay? And I've never had anyone do that to me before. And because I was real wet down in that area, I think it just kind of slipped on in there. That sh hurt hella bad. I ran out the car and I thought I was about to sh myself. So that was my experience. What is your communication like before and after anal? All right, so during sex, I do like to make sure that the person I am having sex with is very comfortable. Given that I may have an over average member, I do want to make sure that it's not going too deep. It's not not hurting them especially, and just making sure that they're in the most comfortable position. Based off of my experience, I try to make sure that we are in a comfortable position for them so that one, it doesn't hurt, two, it's, it's comfortable for them and also too comfortable for me. Their opinion does matter in that moment because truly it's not only do I want to receive pleasure or get the pleasure out of us having sex, I want to make sure that they are receiving pleasure as well um, because truly one thing I don't want is them to leave the situation and just be like, this was not fun, this was very uncomfortable, and now I'm hurting. When sleeping with someone, do you automatically expect anal? They better f know, what else we gonna stick it in? <laughs> <laughs> Now who's doing who? Now that's a question for, it's not a question, it's a decision by me. <laughs> Were you trusting during your first experience? As far as my first experience goes, I'm 40 years old, so that was a long time ago and I couldn't even tell you who it was. Um, but I assumed that I was pretty trusting about anal sex because I had it. What level of trust do you have to have in order to have anal? I definitely will have to be married, a thousand percent. But then I say that though, because, but at the same time, like if there is a man that is really good at what he does, and I feel like there's a lot of passion there while we're doing something, I might not be opposed to it because that area is very sensitive and tender, especially because like if it's your first time, you do need to make sure that they are gonna be gentle with it so that way nothing bad happens. How do you trust someone during a random hookup? Most of the times when, before I even have sex with those guys, they understand what they're gonna be walking into. I always um, let them know that one, I, I can be gentle. I want you to get warmed up to what is about to happen. I let them know like if, if this is not something they want um, or during the, during the intercourse part, if this is not something they want or if they feel like it's hurting too much, they're perfectly fine with just telling me just, and I'll pull out and just, and we can just do whatever else they're comfortable with. How does trust and anal correlate to you? I think that the correlation between trust and anal sex um, really stems from the comfort of your sex partner. So, I mean, I've been in a long-term relationship for seven years now. And for us, we've obviously built that trust up. But even to this day, 
Anal sex is still a whole process and it can even still be painful for my partner. So for me, I think just opening up that line of communication and a lot of foreplay <laughs> really helps to build or at least re-acknowledge the fact that this is a whole process and we're going to make it pleasurable. I'm going to make it pleasurable for him and vice versa. Trust to me during sex means that you can trust the person is being upfront with you when it comes to status. First of all, the person is being upfront with you and taking care of you, especially if you're at the bottom. Make sure your top is taking care of you, okay? And make sure you're not just trying to ram it in there and have a good time, okay? Make sure you're being pleased and know when to stop. Trust in that meaning that the top knows to stop when you're uncomfortable. And hey, make sure you trust who you laying down with. What anal toys are you interested in? I've never really thought about that, honestly. I mean, I've had some fingers slip on in there, but I've never like had any toys in that area. When you want anal, how do you approach it? Head on. My motto is to be upfront from the beginning. State your intentions. You want to be f***ed. Just say that. In a relationship, just say that. So how I approach it is, I let them know, hey, no disrespect, I want to <laughs> you, you can't be mad at me. You can't be f***ing mad at me. Like, seriously, you can't. I'm honest. Now, if you say no, have a good day. There you go. You know, no disrespect. You look real good. You know, I'm trying to smile in that. What's up? Like, that's just... People got to be more upfront and honest with that because you feel real foolish when you're played. But when somebody comes and says they want to you want to you want to you want to feel great. What would you tell your younger self? Um, I would tell younger Eric that um, life is gonna be pretty difficult, but you're gonna have a lot of really good anal sex. So just to keep with it. So I do wanna try anal. And after hearing everyone's responses to these questions, I'm gonna speak to my partner. I'm gonna incorporate all these things and we're gonna get trying because it's something that I definitely wanna experience. And I believe now that I got the right knowledge, I could go on and see what the talk is about. You can follow me on Instagram at ashcashx5. There's no underscore, it's just straight ashcashx5. Hey guys, it's King Iconic and this is my anal August questionnaire response. You guys can check me out on YouTube at The King Iconic. All social media is at The King Iconic. Blow me up, have an anal good time. My name's Elise Arias. I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. My Instagram is Elise, that's E-L-E-S-E -E dot Gab, G-A-B dot Arias, A-R-I-A-S. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marte Hunter. Um, just remember trust is very important when it comes to having sex with your partner or even having sex with just a hookup. Um, you wanna make sure that they're okay just as much as you're okay and that they receive as much pleasure as you do, so. One more thing. Go for it. Do you top or do you bottom? I don't top. <laughs> and I'm a fun top. Hit me up at, at MD underscore Hunter.